Got the three phase power off. Okay, I'm going to show you a wire just replacing this three phase air conditioner. Power's off. What happened here is that this is a new uh, ring connector I've got on here and a brand new wire. Hooks on one of the lugs. What happened is, is it got so hot that it started to come undone and then it heated up this wire so much that all the insulation just came off. So it's all brittle. See, there's two things going on. You got an exposed wire hanging out here in the air, which isn't good. Then it got so hot it literally just broke off the end here and the air conditioner stopped running. Okay, replacement rings on here. What you want to use is always use high temperature. These are high temperature rings or if you ever use the slip-on types here. These are made by Diversitec, HVAC reply, uh, supplier. But the high temperature ones here have the ability to, uh, if they get hot, they still tend to hold on very tight. And what it is is the metal on these, the temper is much better. These are much bigger in diameter and so when they're crimped on there, uh, they hold way better. They're more expensive, but that's really what you want to use. I haven't replaced one of these for probably 14 years. So I just put this on here to get me going and then probably this weekend I'm going to go ahead and replace this one. This looks a little bit charred through here. This is the input, of course. There's a hot here, a hot here, and the third hot goes onto the high leg. And you can see this one here has gotten hot, and so what it does is it tends to get kind of screwy looking, and then the plastic gets brittle, and then with the corrosion going on and the heat, it tends to loosen up, and then it tends to get really hot and generally just breaks off. It doesn't necessarily always catch on fire or anything, but I'm going to go ahead and this weekend or tomorrow go ahead and cut this off and then pull that in and put a new connector on there with one of these high temperature rings. You can, when it's running, take a voltmeter and go across this to make sure there's not any high temperature uh, voltage drop. Sometimes that's a giveaway, you've got a problem. Now this contactor is pretty old, I probably should replace the whole thing. And if you ever mark on what you're going on here, you can mark inside here, it says new motor 2003, 5, 9, and 12. You can mark it in there with pencil, and that'll stay in there much better than a Sharpie tends to sometimes with ultraviolet uh, disappear. Pencil seems to be very robust. See, I've got one, the cap that I put inside. Got some notes. New fan, that's actually the fan, propeller fan. And you may wonder why the motor on here says 2005. That was, this is one that died to old age in 2003. 2005 died due to haul of water we got and surges due to Katrina. This one lasted four years. This one lasted three years. And that's, bearings tend to go out on this, on the uh, condenser fan. This has got a single phase fan. Now what this is doing, which isn't necessarily the best, it's actually turning off two of the hot phases and three phase and the third one is still hot, which probably isn't kosher. This was done back in 2005, excuse me, 1985. I probably should put a three-phase uh, contactor in there and shut all three off. Uh, for service, you've got this deal here you can turn off and everything's off. But this is the way it came from Carrier. I guess they, on a three-phase breaker, they just turned two of the phases off, which is, you got to be careful because, uh, if you didn't turn off the safety here, uh, you've got a hot here and a hot here. This one is still live, so it can go through and power up the uh, through the windings here. This winding is actually hot, and so you can go through and have these will be hot on this end. Due to this, so if you haven't turned off the uh, 
safety breaker on this type of setup is kind of screwball because this is actually 208 to ground so therefore when these aren't on this contactor isn't pushed these two guys are 208 to ground which is really hokey in the sense that if you go poking around there uh, you can get knocked on your butt you shouldn't be touching that but it's not something you'd think about that they are only switching two out of the three phases on there. This is an old carrier round 5 ton unit of 38 EN 060510 208 to 230 volts R22 it's about uh, what 30 years old still runs real well